I, I'm gonna have to come up with a non-solar way of uh, regenerative power, because otherwise I'm just gonna have this constant background and anxiety thrumming whenever I think about the fact that the Wither could escape. Hopefully we're still quite far off that being a possibility, but I don't want to put all of my eggs into the basket of hopefully, uh, if that makes any sense. You know what, let's plug this thing in from the back, like so. There we go. So this thing should be receiving power now. Yep, this thing has got power and it has made us a printed logic circuit. So what we can do now is we can stick the printed logic circuit on this filter here. And hopefully what that means is it will just throw logic circuits out. However, we can't just throw logic circuits out. We need to feed them into here, which is where the issue comes in, in that I hope it selects the correct inventory slot. But before that, we'd need another brass funnel. Thankfully, all things considered, they are pretty cheap. The only thing we're probably missing out on is the dried kelp. So let's just... Do we have dried kelp up here? Do we... No, we don't have any dried kelp up here. Do we have any brass in here? No, we don't have any br brass in here, but what we do have are some mechanical belts. So let's just grab some of these. Uh, since we're probably going to need them in the future. Electron tubes. Thankfully, this is just polished rose quartz, redstone torch, and iron nuggets, and I believe we have some spare upstairs, so let's go grab those. You know, speaking of automation, we should probably start automating this stuff. Uh, no, we don't have the polished rose quartz, but what we do have is sandpaper. No, we don't, but what we do have is dried kelp. <laughs> so let's make... Uh, it, it was just sand and paper, I believe, right? Uh, but we don't have enough of that either, so bear with me on that one too. The beauty of having the transmutation tablet is that we won't run out of stuff like this. The downside of having the transmutation tablet is we have to put everything that we've already got into it. Now, give me that dried kelp, and give me, uh... I put the sand in here, didn't I? Whoopsies. Wait, no, I didn't. Sorry, it was the paper. I'm an idiot. There we go. Put the sand and the paper together, and, uh, what? Or was it like this? Or was it like this? Okay, how do you... Never mind, I figured it out. Shut up. So what we can now do is we can just take some of this rose quartz right here, and we can sand away at it until the sandpaper runs out of durability. Well, that was certainly fast. You know, one thing I'm also going to do once I've finished the storage issue is I'm just 100% going to put one of these monitors downstairs in the basement, because having to come up and down all the time just to get access to all of this is quite tedious, I'm going to be very honest. But either way, give me those smexy electron tubes. We've only got enough for four, that's fine. I don't particularly care. And then we need brass. Now, brass is something I thought we had a lot of, actually. Uh, oh, right. This is where we might have a bit of a problem. I'm going to have to turn off the machine downstairs and smelt a bunch of copper and zinc. Be right back. Okay, so thankfully turning off this bit of the machine is quite easy. I just have to do this. Now I've got to empty the machine, so give me everything that's in here, which is 16 quartz, 26 charged certus quartz, and 6 redstone. Now I've got to go through the resources backpack and grab all of the zinc, which is quite numerous, and all of the copper that I managed to obtain. It's a shame this stuff doesn't have an EMC value, really. Thankfully, because of inventory tweaks, it's very organized in these backpacks, so I can just find it and then pick it out, just like that. But now comes the part where, where I wish I had automated the smeltery a bit sooner, because um, now I've got to start feeding it all into here. Thankfully, it's pretty much instant, thanks to the watcher flowing time. That's one stack done, now on to the next one. This is um, probably going to take a long time, so um, buckle in, you guys. Actually, while I'm doing this, there's one thing that I saw recently that I thought was quite interesting. I don't know if it's in this version of the mod pack, but there was, there, there was this thing called an energy card, I, I believe, where what you could do is you could put it into the bottom of a furnace and have it power the furnace using electricity instead of uh, heat. Again, I don't know if it's in this version of the mod pack or not, but I just thought that was a really interesting thing that I've never really seen before. Yeah, I don't believe it's in this version of the mod pack, but that would have been pretty cool if it was. I'm going to be real honest. Oops, we ran out of coal. Got to go grab some of that real quick. And there we go. That's the last of the copper and zinc that I had in my backpacks. Let's head on down to the mixing bowl now and make us some lovely, lovely brass. Although first we should probably check, is the blaze burner still burning? I have no no idea. From the sounds of it, yes. Let's just quickly check. However, from the sounds of it, it's a big fat liar because it isn't. 
So let's just give it some incentive, shall we? There we go. Now all we've got to do is drop the two entities into the bowl. So, stack of zinc, stack of copper, in you go. Mix it all together, nice and lovely, and we're making ourselves some brass on demand. Just to check on the water intake level. Ooh, that's gotten low. Let's give it some more. There we go. Nice and thirsty, my thirsty boy. Uh, but that alone gave us 50 brass, which is brilliant. Do we need to squish any of this? Do we need to squish it for the funnel? No, we don't. We can just make it raw. Brilliant. I... Nah, I'm not going to put the rest of that on. That it'll, it'll be fine on its own. Besides, I don't want it making too much rose quartz because I don't want to have to give it another barrel because at that point we're just going to be stockpiling rose quartz and we're never going to get through it all. But yes, with a couple of clicks right there, let's just give it all of the brass and kelp that it wants. We now have eight brass funnels. Brilliant. So back to our little experiment over here. We can now put a brass funnel here. And then underneath what we can do is we can grab some more shafts from here. I know I have one in my inventory from the connector that I broke earlier, but let's just grab some more anyway just to save us some time. There we go. Let's put one here and one here. The perspective's kind of messing me up on that one. And then let's connect it with a mechanical belt. And hopefully these should react to... Co Did I just get out perspectived by uh, whatever this is? That That's just embarrassing. Jesus Christ. Give me my wrench. Also, I'm aware that I could start putting casings on these, and I think I might, but I'm going to do that a lot later in my own time, just because some of these don't require casings. Some like these I want to put casings on, but I, I just don't want to waste time making all of the casings, so I'll, I'll do that either at the end of the video or just off camera in between episodes. Shaft there and there, and then let's connect it together with a mechanical belt, and that is exactly what we're after. All we have to do now is uh, give it the rotational power it needs, which we can use uh, gearboxes for, uh, if we can grab some. Or rather, we can use encased chain drives, because everyone loves encased chain drives, because they're just brilliant. I love encased chain drives. I am such a fan. Although, actually, I am going to have to use one gearbox to invert the uh, movement of this one. Um, because of the way that this is all set up. Unless I do this, would this work? And then this, and then this? No, hang on, that's the wrong way around. What am I doing? It's this way, and then this way, and then... No, that's in the wrong place. It'd be here and here. No, that's the wrong way around again. The, the cable's in the way. Ah! Cable! Here, right? Oh, god damn, I got perspectived again. Here. No. Where, 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 where is it? Where is it? It's there. It's in line with that block there. So I've got to make it there. There we go. And then bring it across like this, maybe? And then here? No, I, I, I need a gearbox anyway. I, all of this, and I still need a gearbox. Let's just do this the original way that I had in mind. Give me some of these. Oh, am I trapped again? Are you serious? Ah, screw it. You don't need power right now. And now we've got to turn this one upside down, like so. And then we can transfer the power across, uh, like this, maybe? No, wrong place. There we go, that's better. No, we need more gearboxes, because of course we do. You know what, Just get out of my way, Jesus Christ, you are so irritating. Alright, put a gearbox here, flip it around so it receives power, and then we can use a shaft to extend along here, or not, because my game's crashing. What was I gonna do again? Uh, oh yeah, shafts, right. And then stick a gearbox on there, and it's going in the wrong direction. Great, let's replace this with another gearbox. And now it's going in the right direction. So, now, we can actually test if this thing works as an input. If I grab the printed logic circuit and throw it on the conveyor belt, will it input into the machine? Yes, it will, in the wrong slot. Great, that's exactly what I was hoping for. What if I get it to go in through the top? Are you... Are you fucking serious? So if I just drop this thing in through the top now, will it go into the correct slot? Yes, it will! Okay, so... What we've actually got to do here... Oh, God, what we've actually got to do here is very annoyingly complicated, unless I want to make another precision mechanism. Uh... Why not? For, for the hell of it, why not? Let's be whimsical, shall we? So what I'm gonna need is a fan. Or am I going to need a fan? Would a fan work in this, this situation? No. Well, I mean, it would, but not... 
necessarily in the way I need it to, unless I put a, a, a deployer. No, not a deployer, a depot, but not even a depot. It'd have to be another funnel, but could you funnel things? In reverse? That's an interesting question. Let's grab a fan, first of all, and some food so I don't starve to death again. What happened to the other fan that I used? I swore I had a spare fan lying around. There's no way I just left it buried under the ground, right? I, I, I wouldn't just leave it buried. That's not a thing I'd do, right? Okay, good. I don't think I did. Otherwise, it would have been a lot more up. Well, I left the redstone buried and the lever, so I don't quite think... Hmm. You know what? At least the fan isn't down here. There they are, encased fans, brilliant. And we just have some regular andesite casing. Give me that, I can start my work on this early. Do you have an EMC value? Yes, you do. Thank you very much. Right then, so now I have the fan. I need it to suck. Uh, so let's put it here, let's rotate it. And I mean, I am the king of sucking, so I'm pretty sure I'd be able to teach this thing just fine. Uh, the issue comes, <laughs> comes in the fact that I need to give it strong enough rotational power in one direction for it to, you know, suck strong enough. Uh, so I need to connect this up to what is probably another one of those, which is the thing that speeds up uh, the rotational force of things. Uh, but to do that, I'm gonna need to make another precision mechanism anyway, so... Uh, how many iterations is it? It's five, right? And on you go. Do, 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 do! Are you fucking serious? <laughs> I just get jump scared by a fucking sound file. Nearly there. Come on, just a little bit further. You've got this. I believe in you. I believe in you. You got this. You got this. Woo, I believe in you, woo. Okay, I put it all up here, which is great. I'm glad I didn't get rid of it, but you know what? I'm, I'm sick and tired of running up these stairs. Do we have any spare cables in here? We have two, we can make more. How, what, what does it take to make one of these crafting grids? Crafting grid? No, uh, crafting terminal. What is it for a crafting terminal? It's a calculation processor, a crafting bench, and a regular terminal, and a regular terminal is the formation and annihilation core. Uh, oh, well, thankfully we can make one of these. Give me the formation core, thank you. And then I need a logic processor for the annihilation core, which is actually what we're working on building next, so. I guess I'm gonna have to wait a little longer before I can have what I want. And there we have it, the rotation speed controller. Brilliant. Motto bene. And now we've gotta stick this. Uh, where would be a good place to stick this? Maybe here? Yeah, and then we can grab one of those big old cog wheels, stick that in there, uh, up the speed to just the maximum, because why not? Ah, uh, but we can't really put one of those there. We're gonna have to bring it- e I don't like bringing it so far away from the wall. I could place it th somewhere else? Maybe there? No, because that's in the way. Unless I extend it. That could work. Hold on, give me this. And this. Then I can use the shaft, bring this out by one. But then it will be in the way of that. Oh, what I could do- I'm just getting idea after idea here. Bring the chain drive into things, bring it across like this, then stick the rotation speed controller there. Then we can... Why does it have to be in that direction? Then we can stick the large cogwheel there, and then we can just build up. So if we grab the encased chain drives, like so. One, two... No. No. One, two, three, four. And then uh, get another one. Maybe two, actually. Two would probably work better here. Then we go one here, and then one in front. And get an extra one for one across. There's got to be a much more sightly way of doing this, right? And then all we have to do is grab ourselves a gearbox, which we have. Plug that in there, and uh, alter the direction twice. Now, as far as I can tell, this is currently blowing, right? Yeah. So what we need to do is we need to alter the direction of it so it starts to suck. So we need to either add an extra gearbox into the equation, or we can just finally build ourselves the redstone clutch or whatever it's called. We've built them before, but we never saved them into the thing, so I've put off on building another one because I don't like them. Well, I don't like building them, sorry. We need an adjustable chain gear shift, which is a chain drive, an electron tube, and a large cogwheel. 
let's grab the chain drive cogwheel and then we can make one more electron tube by grabbing some sandpaper. Wait, we have two in this chest. I didn't even see these. We don't even have to do that. We can just grab these electron tubes. Oh, I love that. I am baffled that I never once put a crafted table down. Wait, hang on. No, sorry. We don't need an adjustable chain gear shift. What one of these is, is it's the same as what we're trying to make, except it works in tandem with the rest of the chain drives. What we need, or what we're going to use, is just a regular old gear shift, uh, which doesn't require any of that stuff. So we're gonna make the adjustable chain one anyway. Even though the gear shift has an EMC value for some reason. Uh, you know what, let's make both. We have the resources, why not? 